All right, our next question says, what should I do after I get my Network Plus certification? Can I get jobs entry level easier? Yeah, yeah. So, so generally, generally you'll see the, the three basic, basic ones we start with. A plus, we Net Plus, and Security Plus. A plus qualifies you to basically be a basic help desk technician or a field service person. So if my computer's hard drive fails or my monitor goes bad, you'd come out and fix that for me in a corporate setting. That's A plus. Or I need you to install some new software, reset my password, that kind of stuff. Network Plus takes it up a level and you start looking at the network as a whole. So we're talking routers, switches, and cabling. Most Network Plus technicians are really focused mostly on the network cabling and the infrastructure and a little bit of switches, not nearly as much routing. Generally, you'll go into CCNA if you're going to be a router or switch CCNA. technician, which is Cisco CCNA, which, which Demario actually does have because yep. he used to be a router and switch technician. Exactly. Uh, and then the third thing you go into is Security Plus, where you start looking at the security of the network and the devices, right? And so we go from hardware and software to networking to the security layer, and then we go into all the other cybersecurity stuff. So with a Network Plus, can you get a job? Yes. What kind of job would you probably get? Generally, I see a lot of people coming out of Network Plus with things like cable technicians running infrastructure plants, which is all the cabling wiring, whether it's fiber or copper throughout a building. For instance, when we moved into the new office that I'm standing in right now, even though I'm a network guy, I actually hired a company to come out and run the network for us because we realized that for me to do it, it would take a week. And for them to do it, it took a day with 10 people. And it was just a lot faster and, and less expensive time-wise to have them do that. And the people that were doing that, eight of the 10 of them were Network Plus technicians. There was two that were CCNA folks that were kind of overseeing the rest of the Network Plus technicians as they were doing this. So that's one of the things I see. I see a lot of people will go work for providers. So if you're hiring somebody for fiber optic or cable modems in your house, they come in and run the network inside of people's houses. That I see a lot of people doing that as network technicians or small office, medium-sized offices, worrying about installation of the plants and supporting those plants, the network cabling plants. So that's kind of usually what I see. You probably won't stop with Network Plus. If you decide you like the network area, I would recommend going into CCNA next, your Cisco Certified Network Administrator. You'll learn all the commands of how to set up. So in Network Plus, we talk a lot about things like 802.11, AB, G, N, AC, all that kind of good stuff. We talk about you know all the different VLANs and quality of service and all that stuff, but we don't really show you the commands to do it on a router because Network Plus is vendor neutral and they work for Juniper, Brocade, and Cisco routers. If you go to CCNA, you're going to learn everything for Cisco routers. And so you will actually go into the devices and do things on a Cisco router as part of your exam. And so you will become a much better network technician if you're going to go to CCNA, if you're going to stay in that lane. Or if you just got this as your stepping stone because you want to go into cybersecurity or IT management and servers at large, then you get your Network Plus, move into Security Plus, and then you'll go into one of those uh, domain type jobs instead. So it really depends on where you want your career to go.